Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class 56 Shockwave from uh, the new Studio Series. I really like. So uh, he's a really cool figure. And before we take a look at Shockwave and his accessories, well, let's first check out the box. So this is the box that it comes with, and there's a the little thing sticking out. Um, and right here, there's a nice a picture. There's a nice picture of Shockwave, the Studio Series Transformers ha from Hasbro and all that and on this side of the box there's a nice picture of shockwave if you could just back out a little bit shockwave's face and on the back you can see whoops she, sh shoot okay and get this out of the way first okay so up here there's a nice picture of shockwave and shockwave in his vehicle mode uh the the wheelie and brains parachute man 17 steps is not that bad the bio says Parachutes, parachuters just sent on Shockwave to stop his assault on Chicago. And it's actually a nice read up and I can't wait to get into this figure. One more thing, here is the diorama display stand to display with Shockwave. And, you know, look at that, how cool. On the, It's like the planes and parachuters and all that, just really good. Just nice Chicago display stand right there. Move this out of the way, and we're gonna take a look at the parachuter right here. Uh, it's stuck. He's stuck in this position. You can't really move him. Uh, this is parachute. I've been messing around with it, but it doesn't really like fly. And it's like this crap. Uh, it's like this uh, rectangular fabric. It used to be like ah, uh, and then he he just he just lands on a shockwave. He's like oh, get off me! But you know all that. And here are the fi tiny little figurines of wheelie and brains. Just really nice like that. Little miniature sculptures. Look at that. Really nice. It's like, it's like um, they, they don't really move or they don't really stand all that much. But they're really tiny. And here is brains. Metallic blue hair and the eyes and the silver. My camera could just focus. Come on. My camera just doesn't like to focus up for some reason. But yeah, that's brains. And that's the accessories that Shockwave comes with. So now we're going to take a look at the main man, Shockwave. So as you can see, Shockwave is really good. Really nice details. Um, as you can see, as a giant uh, arm cannon gun. Then you can see as a eye, and then the the little skeleton chest piece look really nice. And he has like the the little weapon and the hand, just super nice. Let's take a closer look. So this, he has a really nice head. Uh, you can see the little cyclops head, the little mandibles right there. The horns look really nice. Kind of looks like ravaged just a little bit. Um, his minion is the driller, I think. I hope studio, I hope, uh, I hope Hasbro releases a, a driller figure. I hope so. Uh, I hope they release a driller, uh, a studio series figure, and they could go with Shockwave. Uh, with comparison, I'm actually gonna bring in, uh, let me see if I can grab him. Oh my god. Okay. He, it's because I haven't displayed on my show. Here he is right next to Grindor. Studio series Grindor that I did a review on. Um, as you can see, Grindor actually towers over Shockwave. Look how big he is due to this little turbine piece on top that Grindor has. And Shockwave's just a little more scratchier. But they're both leader class figures and they're both really cool. And uh, Grindor just matches like the size and just super big. I'm just going to set Grindor off to the side and we'll have a closer look at Shockwave. Okay, there we go. Okay, so really nice shockwave. Uh, as you can see, he has some of that purple outlines uh, on his head and all over his body. It's like per metallic purple, I should say. And on the side, he actually has that hose running down all the way to his gun, which is really nice. It's actually really bendable too. Um, the feet are actually super nice, just really nice detail. Some of the more of that purplish metallic paint. And the hands look just really nice, look at that. Can almost like grab you. And on the back of the figure, we can actually see the little thrusters things. 
I don't, I don't know if they're called thrusters, but they're like little jetpack things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. And there's like little like there's like um, the the things like for like a tank, like just like Megatron, in in the Revenge of the Fallen. And the gun is actually super big. Look at that. Um, let me compare him to another figure. This is basically him. Uh, here he is right next to the Cyberburst uh, Bat Battalion Shockwave that I did a review on. Um, he, wow, he almost actually, he's like almost the same size as Shockwave. Just a, an inch bigger and he would be the same size. But obviously because um, uh, uh, Shockwave being like lar a leader class, he would be, uh, he's big. But G1 version, as you can see, he has the, the gun on the other side of his arm. Well, he has that one. But yeah, it's just super cool, really nice figure. But the gun actually looks super nice. Look at that. Really long gun. He actually does stand pretty well on his own. Uh, he does like cock it back and goes and all that and he gets killed and he gets owned by optimus prime pretty quickly um well due to the helps of the soldiers well i mean if you wanted to you can actually display um you can actually display uh the 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 soldier guy onto shockwave look at that he's like rawr, rawr, and all that really nice and then like william burns are like oh shockwave's coming but yeah, like, look at that huge gun. It's, it's just super nice. I don't know what that little thing's sticking on. Maybe it's his thumb or something. But um, yeah, really nice figure. Um, as far as his articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It can look side to side. It can look up and down. His, his arms can move outward, like so. They can move in. They can move up and up and uh, the side. Uh, like forward and back, they can move. Uh, the uh, he has swivel at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and his hand can like kind of move forward, and that's it. You can actually get good poses at him, and so is his arm and bicep, and then the gun swivel. Um, he has no waist articulation. Uh, his legs can go back and forth. They can go outward, not that much. Uh, he has knee articulation. And he has joint uh, leg articulation, and he also has uh, up and down at the movement of the foot. You, you, you can actually pose this guy. He's actually really cool. How, how cool is he to have him in the, in the collection? Now, now, to transform him, he actually transforms into this vehicle that we never even saw him transform into, this tank. Like, he's basically copying Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. So first, what you want to do is you want to... Straighten out the arms. Actually, no. You actually want to remove this. This is actually his weapon. Let's take a closer look at that. So it's like a soft rubber, and you can actually place it wherever you want. You can place it on the side, or you could place it on the back, right here. But I prefer to to like do it like more movie accurate display on the on the side of his arm. But it's like really soft rubber, and it's like nice paint silver detail on it. So it's really cool. So on to the transformation for Shockwave. You just want to spread his arms out then you want to actually just want to detach his um his shoulders like so um it's really it's 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 all really hard it stays together pretty easily you just want to detach his shoulders um but it's actually really hard to do so uh hold on give me a, a second guys Okay, guys, so I finally got it to do that, but uh, my mistake is not down. You're supposed to flip it up. You're supposed to break it from the side, like so. Hold up. Let me see if I can try to do this on camera so I can show you guys, so I, so I can give you guys a better look of what I'm doing. So you just want to... Ow, god dang it. I keep on hurting my fingers. Ugh. But you just want to uh, f just break it off. Um, hold on, just give me a minute. You actually want to... Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can do this. Come on, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, there. I finally got it to unpeg. And you actually want to uh, just collapse this whole section down. Like so. And just move his head up. Like so. You want to focus here on the legs. You want to straighten this out. Actually, no, you want to take this and move this forward like so. 
and then you want to straighten this outward like so like so and you want to do the same here flip this forward and down like i think i think it's down actually no uh i think it was supposed to be this way oh yeah uh yeah uh flip this down hmm i don't know what's going on uh yeah okay like this you want to just flip this feet down then you want to come over here on the thighs and you want to flip these down like so and then you want to rotate them up and there's actually a peg where this the leg will peg in this peg will actually peg in to this peg this hole right here and you just want to align that perfectly and you want and you want to peg it in if I can do it. there we go you want to peg it in do the same here find the peg and then you want to peg it in and then um it's kind of like just have to align it perfectly and you peg it in there we go like so and now you have them like this and these things are actually will cover up his face. Oops. Okay, so this will actually cover up most of Shockwave's face. So uh, I think I messed it up. Well, let me just unpeg it real quick so you guys can so I can fix that because I think I messed it up. Um, let me try again. Um, like so. And then here, like so. Yeah, there we go, you see? And next you want to uh, take the arms and you want to actually place them inside here. It's like... Um, you just want to like, pick them in here. In here, so. It, it keeps on rattling around. Holy crap. Okay. Like so, I think so. Yes. And then... <sighs> like that. Okay. And then you want to... Get it good aligned. Okay. I'm sorry if this review is like quite boring, but uh, I, I really apologize for the inconvenience. But uh, next, you want to lift this whole section up like so, and you want to bring it down like so. I'm gonna pick it in. Uh, I, I think I'm messing it up here. Let me see if I can try to do this. I just want to peg it in here. Um, there's a peg, that little peg will peg in that hole right there, right there in that hole. Hopefully you guys can properly catch that. Um, okay. There we go. And you want to keep it down. It's, oh my god, my phone's dying. Holy crap. Um, just, uh, I just need to just light, light up the screen. Let's see if I can try to fix this, guys. I, I really apologize. I, I really apologize for the inconvenience, guys. Um... But uh, yeah, uh, just give me a minute. All right, guys, I get it. I got it all fixed up, and here we have Shockwave in his battalion or whatever this is mode. Really nice mode. I really do like it. Um, does uh, I don't really know why um, 
We never really see Shockwave transform into this thing, but he's like a tank. Like, pew, pew. And the whole silver arm is pretty quick, uh, clearly uh, um, good. Uh, the, these are supposed to act like thrusters, I assume. They go pew, pew. And uh, these are like um, legs, and these can like roll. Pretty nice. Uh, I actually really do like this figure a lot. Uh, no complaints or anything. Really do like it. Um, yeah, so he's actually pretty cool. Um, you could just like, you know, just set him down and you can all vom, 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 vom all over the place, you know? <laughs> but it's just really awesome. Uh, yeah, um, he's really cool. And uh, yeah, I really do like him. So um, I'm going to place all of the, the things that he came with. So yeah, um, really in brains. Okay, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. So yeah, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.